Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia. Today I am going to do a flip of my February to show you how it went. So let's go ahead and get started. I am still kind of struggling with figuring out what I want to do planner wise, but I am going to just show you guys what I have done in my planners. So let's go ahead and start with my passion planner medium. So I took the time to decorate the inside of this during the month of February and I really liked the way it came out. I had this in my A5 bullet journal and because I'm not using that bullet journal right now, I wanted to put it in here so that I can keep all of this long term. And then those are my goals. Let's see if I can find February. So this is the month of February and I didn't do a whole lot in the monthly spread. I tried doing this thing where I would put like the um, highlight news on of the day on here and unfortunately they're not happy news but I don't feel like there's a lot of happy news out there anyways but so I did that and I thought it would be interesting to look back and see each day like what's going on and I also put my focuses like whether it was personal or work and my work tends to be because I'm a stay-at-home mom like more cleaning type stuff my family birthdays projects that I wanted to get done and then this was going to be my planner videos which I didn't get a chance to do this calendar I can link down below um, I got it from I think her name's Rar Plans. I'll link that down below. Her YouTube channel is down below as well. But I'm using this as an anxiety tracker, so I just need to fill this out. So here is my first week of February, and I did kind of a like to-do list right here and tried doing like a gratitude. As you can see, my son got a hold of my planner. So instead of me putting pictures and stuff right here, I think I'm just gonna keep this just as like a memory. Even though he's written all over my planner, I wanted to still kind of keep it. So I will just kind of flip through here. Here I put like my to big to-dos up here, and then I put other to-dos down here to try to use it as that. And this was the week of my daughter's birthday. And then I did the same thing here, but instead I just put some to-dos here and then I put some trackers right here of things that I need to, that I'm trying to like track. So there is that. And then my son started soccer shots for the first time. So I put his soccer sticker right here as like a memory. And then this week is weird because the sticker kit, the sticker kit I was I'm waiting for is still not here, which I'm kind of surprised. But I just kind of filled this out a little bit. And then what I did is I have this sticky note pad from uh, Moxie Life. It's the daily one, and I have just been filling it out and then placing it on here so that way when I do get that sticker kit, I can fill it out. But this has just been something that's been useful for me to kind of get by on a day-to-day -day basis and I've actually been really productive in using it. So I'm just kind of sticking it here and then I'm also writing down like little bits of like what happened that day so that way I can memory keep still. So that's been very helpful. So that is the end of my February in this planner. The next planner is my journal, which I'm not going to be showing you much of this one because it is personal too, because I absolutely did nothing in this on the month of February. So let's see, here's my month of February, <laughs> nothing happened. So we will just kind of keep on rolling here. And now we go to my Hobonichi weeks. So I am still using this. I can't help it because I just love this cover so much and I don't know if that's what's keeping me in here but I still love it so here is my monthly I use this as a kind of a pre planner like anytime there's something coming up ahead of time I don't care about writing nice in here so I will just scratch things down if I'm on a phone call to make an appointment so there is my February calendar and I use the stickers from the Sterling Inc. subscription box, which I feel like has gotten really popular, but that's okay, I really like it. Here is my first week of February. As you can see, I didn't really use it. 
Um, I try to use this as like a pre-planner just to kind of brain dump and just, you know, think about all the things that I need to do. I also kind of keep some health stuff right here and meal plans. So here is the second week. And the third week I tried breaking it up. So I had today's chores and then the must do's here and then all my other to do's. This worked pretty well. Um, so I might keep this up, I'm not sure. And then I used some stickers here from According to Alley. And then here is a, another month where I thought about using one sticker sheet for the whole um, month. So there is this. And I kind of used it, kind of didn't, but as you can see, my chicken scratch shows that I do use this as like a brain dump, like like a pre-planner, like a plan ahead, figuring out what I want to do. And then I can just nicely write it in here and try to use this as my dailies. Obviously it didn't happen the month of this last week, but. And then here we are to the last week of February where it goes into March. So I'm using the March subscription kit from Sterling Inc. And I actually did set this up ahead of time. So I am just gonna be using subscription kit for the rest of the month. But yeah, that is how I am using all my planners. I did kind of play around with a couple other planners. So I did try using this um, bullet journal, which I really, really love. Like, I think it's really, it's, it's nice. It's really nice. The thing is, is that for some reason I just can't seem to stick in it. So here is my month of February here on my bullet journal. And I got this quote from Emily Bronte, which also I got from After, which is one of my favorite movies. So I did that. And then all the stickers are used from the Sterling Ink subscription. So here is my monthly, I have my monthly tasks, which I always do. And then my chores and then my goals, which I didn't stick to. Here is the first week, which I really liked it. I did, um, I just, like I said, I couldn't really stick into it. Here's the second week and see, I, I fell off of it. So that is when I actually switched to my traveler's notebook bullet journal because I did like the bullet journal. I just wanted to be able to take my weeks and my bullet journal together. So I did, start setting it up here and I did everything the same way I did in the other one except I just have this instead of all the other monthly stuff so here is the first week which it did work out nice I just I think it was a little too small or something I, oh yeah because I put the hourlies here and I just didn't have enough room to write all my to do so I started running out of space and I just kind of gave up on using this week since it was done and so I tried doing it this way and I just I didn't like it like I felt like I was somehow messing this up so I just kind of stopped on Friday and that is it with that so then I decided to move actually I decided to buy a A6 planner because I was like oh you know I kind of need I kind of need dailies so I set this up again using more of that sticker kit and I really loved the way this looked so I also did March and then I go into my February let's see okay I think this is the first one so I tried this I really liked it and I just kind of kept trying it out but for some reason I just couldn't really stick in it so yeah that's I think I have a March one in here too yeah for some reason I just like I felt like I was running out of room right here but I want to decorate and I, I don't know honestly like it's cute but it just I don't know <laughs> So there's that, and then, the, oops, the last thing I am trying, which I, again, I don't know if it's gonna stick, is my daily passion planner, and this is the A5 size, or the small, 
and I kind of tried it out here. I do like it, but again, I, I don't know how much I'm gonna use it. I don't know if I'm gonna run out of space because I do have really busy days where I just brain dump tasks like nobody's business. And I don't know, we'll see. I might just stick with my Passion Planner Medium Weekly as my dailies. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, but that is everything I used for February. Uh, ignore this, my daughter likes to color on my desk. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a peek of how my February went. Obviously it was kind of crazy, but anyways, I hope you enjoy and I hope that if you haven't already that you can that you subscribe and I will talk to you in another video. Bye.